Okay, so we're back. I hope you tried it out. Uh, at least one of them. There's actually two different calculations we're going to do in this one. Um, so we'll start with the 50 grams of ice melt, which is calcium chloride. This is called Peladow. Um, you can buy it. It's got a little road runner on the bag. Um, that's one of the brands anyway. Um, but its chemical formula is just calcium chloride. Okay. Uh, so that's our solute because it's the smaller amount, right? We have five liters as our solvent. It's a bigger amount. So that's the, the, our other solute, our other potential solute is 100 grams of sodium chloride. Okay, so we need to choose one, whichever one we think is better. And so of course, for melting ice, we wanna choose the, the one that has the lowest freezing point. So we have to calculate that. So first off, we need molality. And again, that's moles of solute over kilograms of solvent, not solution. So to get to molality, we need to have molar mass. So calcium, well, two chlorines, so that's two times 35.5 plus calcium, which is 40. So calcium is 40.1 or 40.08, however many figures you feel like you need. Um, we do have quite a few significant figures from the problem, so I should at least keep four so that I'm not cutting off my sig figs. So let me fix chlorine as well. It's actually 0.45, so we'll put that in there too. Um, I always try to choose my significant figures from the periodic table so that there are more than I have in the problem. That way I know it's not limiting my math. Oh gosh. Okay. And so of course that's over one mole, right? And so we're going to, oh man, I got lazy. Hold on. It's not 50, it's 50.0. Don't do that because that's a really good way to mess up your sig figs at the end. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> I don't have your, you guys here to tell me I'm doing it wrong. By the way, that does remind me, if you ever find an error in a homework assignment that I've given you or a video I made or something I said in lab, you can earn a point by pointing it out um, sometimes I make them on purpose to see if anybody is paying attention. So if you find one, shoot me an email, be the first one to get credit for it. Maybe I'll make an online badge or something so you can brag. Normally in class, I give it a little card, but we can't do that right now. So my calculator says 0. 0.450531, blah, blah, blah. So since it's 0. 0.4505, this would be moles. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know when I'm done that I'm going to round there. In reality, I'm keeping everything in my calculator. So that's the moles. I need to get uh, how many kilograms of ice there are. So we're, we're given liters of ice and a density in grams per milliliter. So that's not going to cancel out just the way that it is. But I know how many milliliters or in a liter. So now we can cancel liters and milliliters and we're left with grams, which means I need one more conversion. Um, so we're going to go one kilogram for a thousand grams. So as it turns out, the density in grams per milliliter is, is actually the same as it is in kilograms per liter. So we're going to take 5 multiplied by 0.9167. So we end up with 4.5835 kilograms. And so I have three sig figs, so I know this is my last significant digit there. So my molality is going to be um, 0 0.4505. Again, I'm taking all those numbers in my calculator. I'm not cutting it off, even though I'm not writing everything. Okay. 
the beauty of technology. So we get a molality of 0 0.09829. So I know I only get three figures, so it's going to be 0 0.0983. I rounded up because the next digit was a nine. Okay. So the same kind of calculation has got to be done for NACL. I'm not going to actually do it, but I will tell you the answer so you can check your work. That's an equal sign. Sometimes my tablet doesn't want to write things correctly. Okay, so we have two different molalities to compare. We do not necessarily know which one at this point is better. Even though this has a higher concentration, we also need to account for the number of particles. Okay, so the easiest thing to do is just to do the calculation. So from the last slide, um, we're freezing, so it's the change in the freezing point. So for calcium chloride, what we'll do is we look at it and we say, okay, well, if we put that in water, what would it do, right? And this is very similar to what we talked about in class today. This is an ionic substance, so it's gonna break apart. And don't forget that it still has to, it still has to balance mass. We still have to have two chlorine when they break up. So that means I get a total of three particles, one calcium and two chlorine. So three particles times this molality, 0 0.0983, that's a zero. Hold on. So the units of molality is moles per kilogram, moles of solute or kilogram of solvent. Um, and then your K here from our last slide is going to be the 1.86, right? So, yeah. So freezing water, 1.86. Okay. So, so maybe now you can see why they have that such sort of like bizarre units, right? So you have to cancel the kilograms, and you have to cancel the moles, and you have to end up with degrees Celsius. So this constant has such a strange number because it's trying to compensate for the weird units. Um, so we're going to end up with 0 0.458514. So I know, of course, I got three still. So this, this is a counted value. There's just three items. So that has infinite sig figs. So I have three here and three here. So we'll say 0.5485 is going to be 0.549. And the last unit that remains is degrees Celsius. Um, a lot of the time, these questions will ask you for an actual freezing point, in which case the last step of a freezing point calculation would be to get the original, calculate, the, the original freezing point and subtract 0 0.549 degrees Celsius. Because it's freezing point depression, it goes down. So it's subtraction at the very end. Um, this particular question doesn't stipulate how we answer it, but a lot of them will ask you to actually calculate the freezing point. So we're going to do the same thing for, for the sodium, except that sodium only breaks down into two particles. So it's going to end up being 2 times this concentration times the same uh, constant. OK, so our answer there is going to be 1.387, so 1.39. And of course, the actual freezing point is negative 1.39. So in this case, we have a, quite a lot of salt. And even though it has fewer ions in solution, the amount is still higher. So we end up with a lower freezing point. So that's how you're going to do that. Um, the boiling point calculation is very, very similar. Same equation. The only thing that will be different 
in, assuming you're still using water, of course. The only thing that will be different is you're going to use 0.512 for the KB instead of KF. And then at the very end, you're not, you're not depressing the boiling point, you're elevating it. So instead of, instead of subtracting, you're going to add it to the boiling point. And of course, we need to recall that the boiling point of water was 100, not zero. Okay. This one is looking at alcohol, and it gives us the normal boiling point. So that's what you're going to add your, your delta T to. Um, you have to look up a K for this one. So that's an internet search. Be careful what websites you pick. Okay, so I'm going to use this as one of the quiz questions. Um, so go ahead and, and try it out. And then when you get to Blackboard, you can submit your answer by taking a photo.